Hi hi, it's the tiny one slash Bishi, and let's play some more Danganronpa. <laughs> so I had to actually test my mic before I started recording to make sure I was actually producing sound so I wouldn't have to do what I did a couple days ago, which was a pain in the butt, and I hated it so so much. Uh, we got some free time. Let's try and find Leon again. Cause I actually like spending time with Leon. Oh. There's Saika. No, I want Leon. He was up there before, where are you? Are you in your room? I also have my fan on, I... If you can hear it, I hope it doesn't bother you too, too much. No! Are you in the dining hall? I don't like when they move around. I mean, they move around to kind of like simulate people and stuff, but... No. Wait, are you in here? I don't think you'd be in the kitchen. You gotta make something here for me? Watch him be in his room. Actually, let's check his room real quick. I don't want to be stupid and wandering all around when he's just in his room. Kyoko. Chuckle. Yeah. Where's Leon? This is Leon's room. I don't really have anything to talk to him about. What? I was spent free time with him. Of course I have something to talk to him about. Oh my god. So I guess he is over in that area. Just wasted almost three and a half minutes for that. I'm gonna hunt you down, Leon. <laughs> with them. I'm so mad. Ugh. Oh. Oh, this, this part, this room. I've been in this room in a bit. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I have to keep in mind that it's against school regulations to mess with any of the cameras. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. That's... Poopy. Yeah. Please. 
on. Yeah. Okay, so where could he be? Uh, is there anything I need to do in the girls' bathroom? No, definitely not. Okay, um... Uh, oh! Oh, I don't think I've ever been in the bathroom before. That's funny. Okay. It's not really much to do, though. Okay. I mean, it's just a bathroom. Alright. One of those bolts looked like it was coming out, though. See in here? Why is this door open? The entrance is being blocked by a huge slab of metal. Looks like some kind of mailbox, but there's nothing in it. <gasps> oh, cool! Yeah, I got another point. All right. Camera. A surveillance camera, and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. I better not get too close. Same thing. Yeah. Alright, so he's not in there. Hi, Mondo. Where is he? Okay. He just disappeared. Is he in a classroom? I think I read this one already. Yeah. <laughs> I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. Yeah. Uh, what's in this one? Metal plate here, metal plate over there, too. Okay. This blackboard belongs to us now, Secret Beauty. That's really weird. Okay. More camera stuff. Okay, cool. Click on everything. I guess that's it. Alright, yeah. Dude! Honestly, where did he go? I don't like that. Oh, maybe he's in the laundry room. Let's see. I didn't check the laundry room. Watch. Watch him be in here. The last place I look. No. Uh, I looked everywhere else, didn't I? That's what this whole episode is gonna be. Me looking for Leon, not finding him. This bathroom.
Wow! <laughs> Okay, well... Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, there he is. <laughs> Seems like... I don't know why, but I've been feeling even more stressed out than usual. At least I found him, but in the bathroom of all places. <laughs> That's bad, right? You think I might be getting sick? Huh? Hey, who's ever in charge around here? I'm sick, give me to a doctor. Uh, hmm. uh, please get me out of here, please. Should I hang out with Leon while he's like this? Spend time with Leon. Hey! Alright, we gotta sit down and plan out our strategy. You know what I mean. So, Makoto, which girl do you have your eye on? Leon and I had a strategy meeting. <laughs> Leon and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Leon a present? I don't think I have anything for Leon. So, not yet. That was it! Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I had fallen into an uneasy sleep. Monokuma Theater! I need an I immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard work. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, 0 0.00002 seconds later. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <laughs> I woke up to the irritating sound of Monica's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Gah. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? T-Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Okay then. What's up, Taka? 
No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt! And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! And now to the game of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to let go, but I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. What is this? Maybe I should tidy up a bit. <laughs> a bed. It looks normal. Feels. I hope that didn't hurt the bed's feelings. Oh god, that's really... Um... It's a notepad. I can't think of anything to write. Uh, the toolkit. Okay. Yeah, I got everything. Wait, no, what's that plant thing? I was gonna click on that instead of plant. Okay. Oh, so, uh, let's leave. There's Toko. Hi, Toko. Um, Toko? What's your problem? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I, I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Aw, oh, poor thing. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. What is she so nervous about? Dealing with people, probably. Is there anybody else about that I can talk to? Leah, my dude! Hmm. Uh, I'm so freaking tired. Yeah, no kid. I mean, seriously? What the hell is wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, she sure did. I guess he's going around waking up everybody. Or everyone. You know what I mean. It's seriously annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just come bug you again. Give me a break. Yeah, probably. Damn it. I guess you better just go then. And that's that. Poor guy. Okay, anyway, in the laundry room. Everyone's being up at the dining hall. Should be there. So is there anyone wandering the halls I can talk to before I go to the dining hall? Oh, there's Junko! Hey! Makoto, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? Are you for real? My mascara is totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka can't woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. How are you talking about? As if. It's like night and day. Sorry. Aww. Uh, I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here. We've been in prison here, and that's what she's worried about right now. Okay, that it off. What was that drift? Hey, 
Everybody's here. Okay. Uh... But more important. Okay, okay. If I absolutely must talk to you, let's just hurry up and start the stupid meeting. Talk is gonna throw a fit if we don't. A breakfast meeting, eh? Perhaps it will keep me entertained and make life with everyone here a bit more bearable. Wow, Rude. There's Leon. What? What do you look at me for, Mr. Goody Two Shoes? Is running the show for now. Um. Good morning. Good morning, Chihira. <laughs> it's nice to get to eat with everyone. There's so many people. It's actually kind of fun. Aww. Makoto. Good morning, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> breakfast time, breakfast time. Gotta eat a big breakfast at breakfast time. She's so cute. Okay. Mm. Good morning. Kofumi, you don't seem too energetic. I'm very sad. <laughs> How can I be? I got woken up by that annoying, obnoxious, nightmarish guy. That's why I hate 3D so much. Hey, Taka looks pretty impatient. We better get this started already. Yo. Yo. Good morning. <sighs> this sucks. Let's just hurry up and get this over with. Taka's getting antsy. Yo. Morning. <sighs> Man, waking up to the sound of Taka squawking is not a fun way to start the day. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> to bring everyone together for a breakfast bean is a very Taka esque suggestion. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, uh. Oh. Like, uh Hi, Makoto! Good morning to you, Makoto. She can even make a basic green feel eloquent somehow. That's the power of a celebrity, I guess. Hey, um. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Good morning, Saiga. Okay. <laughs> he let out a heavy, annoyed sigh. I'd rather be ignored completely than suffer that kind of insult. What's your problem? What's the point of talking to me? Aw. Papa's the one who's got everyone together. Go talk to him if you have a question or whatever. Alright, big guy. Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. What busy schedule? Give me a break. I didn't make time for this shit. You drive me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. The first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> okay. You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important... Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoes through the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? What? Yeah, sounds like the girl wants to live here. Hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell I'm living here. 
I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who told me. He's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Um, oh, no, don't cry. I hate Chihiro's crying spray. Huh? Huh? What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Uh... A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Hmm... Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainty is not a concern right now. I will allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> that monstrous villain who's murdered scores of vi victims in brutally bizarre fashion? I almost said villains instead of victims. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without trace. And on the internet, they started calling him hm. Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Hmm. Someone's kind of nervous. Hmm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he's putting together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, isn't that, like, a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> huh? Help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard! What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously? Do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> Are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> That's not funny, hero. What the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Zero Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? <laughs> Mr. Zero Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to this. Life here has already begun. A couple days have gone by and nobody is killing anybody. <laughs> I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. 
I got it! Wait, I think, yes. Ding, 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 I figured it out. In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's a motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, how exciting. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, Mr. So impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a set, specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? What would you do? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Okay. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure that out. Figure it out for yourself. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hen within the school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, he's gone. And once again, he left before we can find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... On the start glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto. Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going. Hell then. yeah! Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing, then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come run it. Um... I can't decide if Bondo is totally dependent or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Hmm. So then, where's the specific place Monokuma mentioned? <laughs> It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but if it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... Okay. It's the audio room. Audio video room. Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. Now there's something in the box. It's... Um, a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us, he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. 
The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. I will probably play those videos, those DVDs with no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen, and then... I yelled out without realizing it, my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor... It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where did everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came plugging out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? <sighs> what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um... What's going on? Without a word, I point to the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the... What? <laughs> this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on! Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew. They had all seen something like what I had seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. 
Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What is what? this? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever is behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's video. I'd be lying if I said I was curious. Hey, Sayaka? What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Okay. Actually, I want to talk to everyone first. Okay, let's talk to... Hiro. Uh -huh. Hey Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but... What the heck? What the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. <laughs> <sighs> what was in your video, Taka? <laughs> I saw... <laughs> Sorry, it's going to take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how can anyone be calm right now? <laughs> Why? <laughs> How could something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like that. Is it because there really are the murderous fiend? What was in your video, Kafumi? Um, so Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how that works. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. Oh, no. Oh. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? Wait, where's, uh... Hina? What was in your video, Kyoko? Wow. Why should I tell you? Wow, okay. Uh, I think that's it. 
It's the cardboard box that DVDs were in. Okay. That's it. Alright. Let's leave. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Oh, there's Hina. Um... Where'd Sayaka run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. Cause, I mean... But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but... If it was real... <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you, and that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. No way. Hell no. No way in hell. You... You're just acting all nice so that we'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it, how the hell did they get footage of that? Oh, Leon. Okay. I'll go, I'll go. Alright, uh, oops. She's not in the bathroom, is she? Alright. Well, I mean, technically you could, but... In the gym. Oh, uh, Shunko. But more important. Hey, Makoto, aren't you like super curious what's in everyone's videos? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to find out. I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> right, I could totally tell. But does that mean you're gonna tell me what was in yours? Hmm. Hmm, who knows? It all depends what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think she's gonna tell me. Uh, I guess nobody is in here. Alright. So she's gotta be in the other part of the school. Are she in the store? Nah, no, she won't be in the store. No. Oh, that's right, can't open that. Hey, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Let me look. She had a blast There she is. Okay. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset, or angry, or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka? Are you okay? Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, uh. What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? Why? I want out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. But I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. 
Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. The families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince her just as much as... I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me! Her voice was so small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto! Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up. Oh no, it's standing up. Oh my god, you do. What? Standing up. Come on! Oh, I hate this so much. I hate this about this game so much. <laughs> do we even have to ask? Yes. Yes. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Just a minute. No, no, no. I want to join in. This is why this game is not for children. Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. <laughs> I am not reading. Y'all can read all that for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, right. Stop it. Uh-huh. Uh, my honest innocent stuffing is Yeah, no. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. Up. Oh. I never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, shouting all my power, and let go with everything I had. <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. <laughs> I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. <laughs> your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. <laughs> What the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, 
Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Wanakuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we had just created. Saika and I head back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Saika. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I head off to tell everyone that Saika was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest on my of my own. Sheesh. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What's the mas what the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I can never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? When I open my eyes, they dart immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Okay. So, I... I know this might be a little bit cliffhanger. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to end this episode here. And we'll continue in the next episode to see who's at the door. Anyways, that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!